Hey guys, I want to take a second this morning to acknowledge the demise of one of my favorite developers from the past, Visceral Games. As of yesterday, Visceral Games was very quietly shut down. Though it was covered in the game media, it seems like it was covered more because they were currently working on a Star Wars title. Where, to me, I'm, I feel they're known for the amazing Dead Space series. One of my favorite games of all time that was available on the PS3, the Xbox 360, and the PC. Um, for some of you who don't know Dead Space, it was one of my favorite sci-fi horror exploration games ever. And not only was it a horror-based, suspense-based game, it was very interesting in its art design, its cinematic ability to really put you in the ship. Very much like Event Horizon, The Thing, movies like that. You really felt like you were in this lived-in world, and much like games like Bioshock, it really put you in that world and was very immersive. And it's something that I feel like a lot of current games have a hard time capturing. Regardless of the graphics and how technical a lot of games are, they feel a little more cookie-cutter these days than they did even in two generations back on PC and on those consoles. I want to recognize Visceral Games because, to me, Dead Space was a very original title that took chances. It had action, it was very action-based, but it was exploration first, and actually horror first. I love the story, and it was kind of one of the first examples I saw of the publisher meddling with the developer, and seeing where... Each game after, there were three in total, became more action-based and less suspense-based. Even the third um, title in the series was the first time I've ever seen microtransactions in games. So think back to even 360, being prompted to buy a gun in the marketplace is what you're seeing commonly now in Battlefront 2, and I hear in the new Call of Duty is most each microtransactions, which is a shame. But I wanted to just acknowledge them because they were sadly closed yesterday. And if you go on Wikipedia, you can see their past and see the games that they were involved in. And sadly, you can see that they, as of yesterday, were defunct. And so many of these developers just kind of fade away and barely are acknowledged by, you know, their publisher. And unfortunately... It's just kind of what's happening more commonly now as you're seeing, unless you're a very, very small independent house, the mids aren't really wanting to take a chance on these very, very exciting titles or take chances. So you end up seeing kind of repeats or rehashes of the games that we see every day. So, you know, a perfect example is Mass Effect Andromeda. You know, it's a larger title. That game failed. That developer is now closed so now we kind of understand why developers just aren't taking chances much like independent movies and movie studios all it takes is one flop and they're closed so I wanted to just take a second to acknowledge Visceral Games as being one of my favorite previous uh, developers I know they were involved in a Star Wars game which has now been moved but I just felt that it wasn't really, I don't know, it wasn't really acknowledged the way I thought it should be. Um, if you guys have a chance and can pick up Dead Space on the PC, it is available, all three games. Unfortunately, it's not available as a remaster on PS4 or Xbox One. I really wish it was. I think you guys would love the game. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's, it's just a lost gem that not many people talk about, or a lot of gamers that were really into the genre definitely remember it and I'm sure most of you will remember it fondly but it was an amazing game and I want to just take a second to acknowledge um, Visceral Studios and the demise of another developer that in my opinion really pushed the envelope and I don't know I just find it very sad when I see these developers have to close but those are my thoughts and um, if you get a chance please look up Visceral Games and you know, tell me what you guys think, and check out some of the videos on YouTube of the Dead Space franchise. Thank you so much, guys, for all the comments, and take care.